Okay, so here's a different way of looking at the di at distance formula problems that can show up on tests, and we prepare ourselves by memorizing the distance formula, and we're looking for we're looking to find the distance. But what if they give us the distance, and they ask us to find the missing value? So here we're given kind of two points and the distance, and we're asked to find this missing value here. So we need to figure out what is this x value that makes this thing true. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. Write down the distance formula. So the distance formula you have to have memorized before you take any college placement exam is equal to this. It's equal to x, whoa, that's not true, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. That is the second x value minus the first x value plus the second y value minus the, the first y value. And both of these quantities are squared. So let me start you with that. If you don't have this memorized, you have to have this memorized. So we're asked to solve for this distance. We're told there are two points. We, saw, we see distance. We see two points. We know we're going to use the distance formula to start filling in the blanks. And the distance that we know is this one. And they say that the distance is the square root of 52. And maybe you wanted to solve what's the square root of 52. And in a second, I think I can show you why you shouldn't rush into that. So I'm just going to build the problem here. And we're going to take the second x value, x minus the first one, which is 0 squared, right, plus the, first, the second y value minus the first one, quantity squared, right? So start, we're going to just start simplifying the best that we can. Just start our way through, and this should, this thing should start revealing itself a little bit. We know that x minus 0 is just x, so we have x squared here, right? We know that 6 minus 2 is 4, so we can clean that up inside there, can't we? And then just to do this, we know that 4 squared is 16, so it's 16. And we also know that x squared, well, is frankly x squared, right? This is where I see people getting caught up because they get such a hurry. I think that you hear all the bells and stuff going off in your head when you're trying to take these exams. But look, we, I like to get rid of this square root sign right here. So here's my goal. I'm trying to get to this x. I'm trying to figure out this x value is going to be here. So to do that, I'm going to square the whole thing, right? Because if you square a square root, it eliminates the square root, doesn't it? But if remember, if you do it to one side, you have to do it to the other. Well, that's really fortunate for us because we want to get rid of this also. So what's the square of the square root of 52? Well, it's 52. And what's the square of the square root of x squared plus 16? Well, x squared plus 16. Okay? From there, we have to do a little bit of arithmetic, right? We're going to add negative 52 to both sides, so negative 52. So we get negative 50, right? We get negative 52, so we get is negative 36, isn't it? So we get 0 is equal to x squared minus 36. And I, can, I swear I can almost hear you now because I know that you're recognizing this is the difference of squares pattern, right? So we know that it's x plus 6, x minus 6 is equal to 0. So the x value that goes here is equal, is either equal to x is equal to negative 6 or x is equal to positive 6. Makes perfect sense. So let me just go through this really quickly. Don't give up on me yet. I hope you're taking good notes. When you're taking the SAT, you're taking some specialty math exam, including, you know, a GRE or anything like that, they're going to give you problems with formulas that you know, but they're going to give them to you in weird ways. So here they give us this two points and the distance. And instead of asking us to find out what the distance is, they're going to give us the distance and ask us what the x value must have been. And you're going to just fill in what you know. So fill in what you know. It's crucial. You can definitely do this. There's success to be had here. So keep up the hard work.